So how did you feel at the height of that summer? I really felt that it could never be this good again. I mean, I'm someone that excessively worries. I overthink everything. <laughs> but I just let everything go. I think in the back of my mind, I, I knew it wouldn't last forever. experience influence your views on polyamory? I think it made me question if it had been something I was missing out on my whole life. I, it made me feel whole and complete. <laughs> Alright, so Peyton, how many girls are you flirting with this week? I'm not sure. Okay, I think it's like 10 now. No! Like okay, they're not flirting with me, we're just friends. They're not looking at me like they're looking at you. Whatever. I mean, are they all dateable? Yes. Does one stand out more than the other? No. So I just... Don't date any of them. I just, I wish I lived in a world where I could just love all of them. Ew. Girl, what? what? Oh, okay, okay, don't say that okay, every... okay. <laughs> Isn't that like polygamy? That's a good ass question. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to love everyone. I, <laughs> I think I always look to my parents for relationship example. I mean, at first they, they looked like the ideal couple. And then they weren't. And then I took notes on what not to do. I mean, I just watched my mom search boyfriend after boyfriend. And I don't remember if it was happiness that she was looking for, or if she was just lonely. I couldn't tell. But what I felt with Sarah and Mac, it was like nothing else. I just, I wanted my mom to feel that. I feel like that's what she's been searching for. So what are you searching for now? Happiness? A warm body? Two girls? I just... I want someone that doesn't define my whole world. I want someone that compliments me. And I'm not telling you that because I want you to become that. It's 
just um, I'm not doing that anymore, you know. Yeah, you either are. <laughs> I thought our stop wasn't for another hour. It's not, but we do have to pick up a special package. Ooh, a package? A uh, package named Reese. What? <laughs> Okay, so uh, Reese is sort of gonna be joining us on this trip, so I'm gonna go get him. You wait right here, don't move, okay? Bye. Hey. Jesus Christ. Hi. You must be Isabel. Oh, yeah, I am, but I think you have the wrong Isabel. Mm. Pretty unlikely. Well, I don't know you, so. Yeah. Hey! Hey! <laughs> so, you must be Isabel. You're a man. Most days? Yeah. Okay, so... <laughs> Wait, you're... you're you. Reese. Reese. Right. <laughs> okay. 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 Oh, 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 okay. Oh, this is... Yeah, cool. So glad that you're here. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad of me too. Okay, so you're not being weird. <laughs> I'm weird. Uh, Isabel, this is Reese. Reese, Isabel, my best friend. Uh, now that we know each other, we should get going. Isabel. Yeah. Isabel. I'm so excited. <laughs> That was, get your own bag of chips. <laughs> I bought these fair and square. Uh, mm. yeah. Better? Better, thank you. Oh, wait. Let's see where they are. Um, I wonder what's happening now. Right oh shoot, I forgot to get snacks. Oh, oh, don't worry, I got you, boo. I picked some up along the way. Oh. You got your favorite snack? Oh, you know me so well. And I got you another water. Uh -huh. This one with vitamins and minerals. You treat me some... so well. Oh, you guys are so domestic. Mm. I, uh, I know. We've only been dating for the summer, but it already feels like we're an old married couple. Hashtag goals, am I right? <laughs> wow. And maybe she has a little more info on this reason. Maybe. Hey, what's up? Where are you? Well, I'm great, we're great, and we're on the road with Reese. Wait, what? See, this is Reese. Hi, nice to meet you. He's a man. He's a man? Oh, he's a man. I'm so happy everyone's happy I'm a man. Uh, yeah, I'm happy too, but no one seems to be asking me that. So, yeah, we've just been catching up and talking about how Reese and Victor have been dating all summer. All summer? Oh, oh did I not mention that? Maybe. Oh, don't blame Victor for that. I've been keeping him to myself all summer, but it's gonna be so nice to spend so much time with you guys at the cabin. Wait, you're coming to the cabin? Well, I own it, so yeah. You own it, wow. Okay, so Peyton, Reese, the man, he's coming with us to his cabin where we're all just gonna hang out for two weeks. Victor's told me so much about all of you. Oh, that Victor, he's just such a talker, isn't he? I can't wait to meet VIP in person. Can't wait. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs>